Hello, uh, this is a video where I demonstrate uh, uh, the two uh, Sternad STRNAD uh, Sternad microphones. Uh, one of them is for 10 hole diatonic harmonica, and the other one is for a 12 holes chromatic harmonica. My name is Marcian Petrescu, I'm from uh, Bucharest, Romania. And uh, I'm going to test these microphones because both of them are for sale. So, uh, both microphones started as a normal uh, standard microphones with a, a, a low out, uh, unbalanced connection and low output and a, let's face it, a poor quality uh, volume potentiometer. So, uh, I modified them. I installed a high quality military grade capsulated uh, volume potentiometers and also uh, inside the handle of the of the microphone here uh, there is a um, uh, impedance matching transformer that it is boosting the the signal from uh, for, for from the dynamic uh, uh, capsule to uh, an impedance around the 50 kilo ohms or something like that with a more uh, powerful output level than usual. Both these microphones uh, are handling very well uh, different types of pedals. Uh, I have uh, on, uh, on the floor here, I have a harp attack and a heartbreak from uh, uh, Lone Wolf Blues Company. And uh, harp attack is a power, uh, small, uh, small uh, tube, uh, uh, drive distortion pedal. The heartbreak is, uh, let's say, an, uh, an, another type of distortion drive uh, pedal. And also, I will demonstrate you uh, that you can use these microphones uh, directly into the PA uh, with the aid of a DI box. So you can hook the, uh, to the uh, you can couple the, the microphone uh, to a DI box to the uh, normal unbalanced input and with the aid of a normal microphone cable, you can run the signal uh, out into a, uh, in, in this case, a power speaker, a vocal monitor, or into a, a audio mixer, PA mixer, where you can trick the, the gain, the over gain, the, high, the, the highs, the mids, and the, uh, and the bass uh, frequency, and you can add also uh, maybe a little bit of reverb or something like that. So, uh, my first uh, test will be with, uh, with both microphones uh, inside this, uh, this uh, active uh, speaker. So, uh, I'm using uh, uh, C uh, diatonic harmonica, major diatonic harmonica, special print in this case, for this, uh, uh, for this uh, uh, standard microphones for 10 hole diatonic. And the sound is like this. The volume potentiometer is working very well. Okay, right now the microphone for 12 holes diatonic uh, chromatic harmonica. All right, and it sounds like this. So this is the clean signal of, uh, for both microphones. Right now, I'm gonna hook out the cable for the, from the DI box, and I'm gonna plug it into the harp attack uh, pedal that is also connected to the harp brake. Both pedals are true bypass pedals, so you can. Uh, I I will uh, I will switch them. Uh, to hear different types of, uh, of distortion. 
So the 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 amp it's a it's a Mesa Boogie caliber fifty. It's a high gainish amp. Uh, so uh, maybe you have a I don't know maybe you have a more friendly amplifier. This is a uh, let's say a spare amplifier, and uh, for the moment the preamp tubes are uh, are uh, the stock preamp tubes, twelve uh, AX seven ECC eighty three. So uh, it's a high gain champ. So I can't crank the volume too much uh, without having a little bit of feedback issues. So uh, first uh, the microphone direct into the amp. Uh, this also is uh, first test with the with the standard microphone for the chromatic. Sounds like this. Uh, sorry, it's on standby. Right now it's on on. So the signal is pretty cleanish. Right now, I engage the harp attack and the sound will be like this. Okay, harp attack off, harp break on. This is a different type of drive. Turn out microphones for with the for the ten hole diatonic harmonica. First uh, the hard break. Uh, no, first the the uh, both pedals are disengaged, so uh, the signal goes directly. Uh, it's bypassed directly to the to the amp. <laughs> Microphones are uh, handling very well the the different types of pedals you can add. I don't know, maybe a reverb, uh, 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 compressor, or maybe a flat cat from Lone Wolf, uh, a clean cat, a uh, boost pedal also from Lone Wolf. I don't know different types of pedals. So uh, uh, the fact is that the impedance matching transformer that I installed inside the the handle of the microphone is boosting a little bit the the signal and also uh, makes it more friendly the microphone is becoming more friendly with different types of pedals because the output is not i don't know uh, one uh, kilo ohm it's uh, 50 kilo ohm so will uh, will behave well uh, with the pedal and also directly into an amp <laughs> Okay, hard break off, hard attack on, and it sounds like this. This is the test 
I hope you like it. Uh, I didn't uh, play the, you know, very complicated stuff. Just to make yourself an idea, uh, the video was made with an aid of a Samsung Galaxy A70 uh, smartphone. This is the quality. I don't have a special uh, uh, digital camera for this. Uh, just to make yourself an idea. Both microphones are very friendly. So if you are uh, using them, you can, you can explore a whole a uh, bunch of uh, possibilities, a whole bunch of combinations with different pedals uh, in order to get your uh, get yourself uh, the sound uh, uh, that you want. So uh, thank you so much once again. The the sound of the Sternard 10 hole diatonic microphone, uh, harp attack. <laughs> Harp attack off, hard break on. So this is it. You can also crank a little bit the, the volume and maybe add a little bit of drive from the from the pedal if you want. Uh, as I told you, the Mesa Boogie Caliber 50 it's a high gain champ, so I'm on the edge of the feedback. If you add maybe a, um, I don't know, maybe a, some kind of a anti-feedback device, you'll be able to to uh, to use it with a high gain amp, or with a more powerful amp, and so on. So the possibilities uh, uh, to combine to to combine this. Uh, the different types of, uh, of amp and uh, pedals it's uh, it's very uh, are very uh, uh, you know di diverse so uh, it's up to you thank you so much